right, so I am beyond excited. So freaking excited. I got an email back and I'm a finalist. I am a finalist for giving a TED Talk at the University of Delaware and I like could not be more excited. <laughs> I can't even express how excited I am. All right, so really great conversation. I just talked to Rashima. She is a councilwoman at large in Wilmington and she is so awesome. She's also a professor at UD of social entrepreneurship, obviously in love. And then she also runs her own startup consulting business. And so such a great conversation. She's just like such a kindred soul and it was awesome talking to her about what we're doing with Level Up and about Upcycle. And we were just talking about, you know, balancing stuff and, you know, having too much on your plate and not enough. And we talked about burnout and it was just such a good conversation. She was just so sweet and amazing. Love her already. So that was awesome. And yeah, the weekend was just crazy busy. I FaceTimed my friend Kana for like three hours it felt so good to catch up with her we hadn't caught up for probably three months and she's just such a soul sister I love talking with her so much so super busy day today and I'm quite tired but we're gonna get through it so I'm so proud of the minimal coding that I'm doing and I want to show you because I'm changing the color of text from a button <laughs> it's like magic at my fingertips I want to show it's so cool all right so from this code we come over here to this place right here, ignore all the other animals. I was doing other little playing around with the toys. Oh my God, I made it green. Oh my God, I made it red. Now it's blue. Wait, now it's red, but now it's blue. <laughs> so much fun. All right, so I'm super excited. I'm talking to Charlie Vincent today from Spur Impact, which I'm so excited. He's the executive director. And yeah, we're setting up a chat to actually talk about a paid internship program for this fall. And I will probably apply for it, but just talking about flexibility and what that might look like. So I am so excited. I'm also talking to my academic advisor today. So I'm talking about fall classes and my schedule. I'm taking a reduced course load this semester. I've since coming into college, I've been approved for a reduced course loads. I did it my first two semesters and then I took full-time classes all of last year and last fall but then this semester I went down to two, but I have been taking like 12, 15 at a time. So I'm proud of myself for knowing I can do that, but it's also just been like incredibly stressful with the pandemic and doing everything online and also taking like accounting classes or like really hard, you know, math classes that I'm just not, not good at. And I know that about myself. And so it's just, those classes are like very stressful. So two classes was plenty for this semester with everything else I'm doing as well. But I'm really excited. I'm working on creating a technical competency and I have four of my five classes picked out as of right now. And I'm just filling in the fifth and then I will declare my own custom technical competency. I haven't decided on a name yet but I have classes like social entrepreneurship. I haven't just taken the like regular social entrepreneurship class, which is funny, I've taken the practicum, a bunch of different ones. Leadership, integrity, and positive change. That class sounds incredible. Leadership for the common good, also amazing. And then mentor and helping relationships. There's actually a class about that. I love mentorship, so I have to take that class. And then the fourth, or sorry, the fifth one, the final one, I'm hoping to do an entrepreneurial leadership one, like another one or an eco entrepreneurship class, I think. So we'll see, but I'm so excited. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun day. Ah, oh, good lighting, wow. Look at this, golden hour. <laughs> so anyway, such a good day today. Oh my goodness. I talked to Charlie Vincent from Spur Impact and it looks like I'm gonna be an intern for Spur Impact and I'm so excited. I literally can't hide it. I'm so excited I can't hide it. <laughs> I just can't believe it. It's it's literally been a dream come true to be able to work on their mentoring program with them. That would be a huge part of what I'd be doing as an intern. I would also be working on their Mill Summit, the Millennial Summit, and I'm so excited. I will be sending Charlie an email with three goals that I would like to accomplish over the summer for that, and I'm so excited. There's a lot of flexibility with that. I told him about my health issues and kind of how I need the flexibility and yeah, I'm so excited. So I just landed a paid internship and I could not be happier. Truly a dream come true. I'm so excited. I, 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 when I'm so excited about something, I just gush about it and I can't even put into words how excited I am. That means I'm really excited because <laughs> I just keep saying I'm excited and that's what it is. So anyway, that meeting went so well. I, I love Charlie. He is so nice. He's such a good person. And so 
it's gonna be really really exciting to work with him and work with so many other people on their committees and and prepping for the mill summit and stuff so yeah I basically can work over the summer over the fall with flexible hours and then into the spring as well for about five hours a week I'm thrilled so that is so exciting I also talked to my academic advisor Trisha best advisor ever we were talking about basically the fall is gonna be really difficult for me because I can only take online classes and so far there are only two options for classes that I can take online there might be changes between now and the fall but it's really frustrating to not have a lot of options I might be able to contact professors and be like hey can you either offer one of your sections online or will there be accommodations for for you to provide to someone who has to be online but we'll see it's just it's really kind of frustrating and stressful I'm also declaring a technical competency she came up with a really great name for it of leading through positive change or with positive change and I love it so much I have four classes picked out I'm still iffy about the fifth I might even take three one credit classes there's several I really like like uh, grant writing this meditation class and then also emotional resiliency and emotional intelligence and I'm so excited so I'm kind of finalizing that so yeah I will keep you all updated but I'm so excited this week has just been absolutely incredible I also won a scholarship from Horn that I applied to and I was nominated for and I just I feel so incredibly grateful like I the last like several days I've been staying up until 2 a.m. working and I work uh, you know in recruitment for schoolyard ventures which is a very flexible job but like when I am doing it, 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 I have to do like a lot of it really quickly and I'm not even done. But that type of work of me staying up super late working on something, it pays off. And I'm seeing that with being a finalist for a TED Talk, winning the scholarship, getting an internship, like winning a thousand dollars first up last Wednesday. Like, wow, it has just been an incredible week and I'm so excited for what is to come because this has just been an incredible journey. So time to go work more as usual, but I'm just feeling so grateful and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous mwah, chef's kiss day outside. And so I am just so enjoying and being appreciative for being able to work outside. So yeah, let us continue the journey and be grateful for every moment of it. Let's go. All right, so we're hanging out out in the hammock today. So let me take you on a tour of the hammock. And I say hammock weird, apparently that's like a Midwestern thing. I'm sorry for my accent. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. So fun. Look, I'm pretending that's me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just threw it on there and that's what it looked like. That's a little creepy. It is so beautiful out today that I was like, you know what? I wanna come out and be in a hammock. Oh my God, it feels so nice. I love this so much. Oh my God, it is so comfy. Uh, I feel like I'm on vacation. Like, no joke, I feel like I'm on vacation. <laughs> so it was just so beautiful out today and all of my decks were in the sun and I was like, you know what? I already got enough sun. I was looking a little toasty and I know this is like kind of in the sun, but if I turn this way my face will be in the shade and that's what's important so I was like you know what like I was just gonna lay on my couch inside for like a half an hour and take a break before I work the rest of the evening and I was like you know what why don't I like come out here take my break in here lay down in here out of the sun beautiful idea absolutely beautiful <laughs> check out this view oh my goodness wowza look at that it is so gorgeous out today, I cannot get over it. Let me just make you a little seasick here, just going around in circles. That's right, that's how we do it. Oh my gosh, so pretty out here today. We've got the little tootsies out. Oh, we're feeling so good. <laughs> All right, so I have been working out here on the hammock for a while. It's starting to get a little chilly, so I think I'm gonna go inside, but it was really nice to have like an outdoor office space for a little bit it was really cool but yeah it's not necessarily the best setup because like my neck is kind of crinkly because I'm looking down and yeah but anyway it was just a beautiful beautiful place to come out and work for a little bit I'm gonna go in and then yeah work some more I'm feeling a lot better because the rest of my day is flexible which is really nice so I'm gonna go in the sun is setting and it's gonna get cold pretty quick so yeah let's transition back inside For it. Oh, we got a wasp. Can you not, buddy? He just touched my hand. Can you not? I probably, he's, now he's on my foot. Can you, like seriously, buddy? 
Okay, thank you. He left.